Hey guys, um, I thought it'd be really fun to show how to make a sushi burrito if you've never made one before. It's a bit of a twist on the traditional sushi and it's something that you can put in your lunches, for work, for school, for the beach, and it's something the whole family likes. And they're really fun to make and to eat and I don't know, it's just something new. So here is a meal idea and we'll just go through the steps. It's super simple and there's lots of different varieties you can make, but I'll just show you one that's really easy to do. Okay, I hope you like it. The first thing we're gonna do is prep all of our fillings. And so what we wanna do is make everything similar in shape and size. And so we're gonna cut it really thin for really good texture. And we're gonna use mostly fresh ingredients. We're also gonna prep sushi rice ahead of time and a sweet potato we're gonna steam ahead of time. And I'll show you those ingredients. This is the sweet potato we use. It's purple Okinawan, but any sweet potato works just fine. Just peel off the skin and make cubes to the similar size as the rest of your ingredients. Avocados are awesome because it gives some buttery texture to it and it just complements everything really well. The rice, uh, sushi rice that we make is made with sake and rice vinegar and we're going to use a soy paper for the wrapping of our sushi burrito. So just wet your fingers, spread all the rice out evenly across your soy paper and pat it down so it's even and looks half decent. And then pick one side of your mat and fill all of your ingredients in the inside. And we are gonna make this a nice fatty burrito, so we're gonna add an extra soy paper at the end. And what I'll show you how you do that right after we get the futakaki and miso, which are just some extra flavor. Um, so all you gotta do is wet it and pat it down, and then just start rolling and just. Do it with a little bit of give and don't be afraid of it. It's gonna turn out, even if you think it's not, it will. Here we're gonna just put some wax paper around it and take a little twine and tie it together so that you can take it with you if you're going somewhere like a party or for lunch or you know taking it to work or school or to the beach. And look, it looks so good and it's so fun and they're pretty to make and they're really nourishing and yeah, just something new and fun. All right, um, let me know how it goes. If you make it, tag me on Instagram or let me know below. And we'll be making a new video next week on Wednesday. And if you have any ideas, just let us know in the comments and we'll see you next week. All right, aloha.